Good morning, everyone, and happy first day of school to Round Rock ISD and all the other school districts that are starting today. I know it's an exciting time uh, to welcome in all the students that are going back to school, but not only are the students getting up and getting ready to go to school and the teachers, of course, but also getting ready when it comes to the first day of school is the police department, the police force here at Round Rock ISD. And we have the chief here, chief of police for Round Rock ISD, police talking about what you are doing to make sure that you get the kids ready and to be safe on this first day of school. Welcome. Hi, thank you very much. I appreciate the opportunity. So uh, the officers all summer have been preparing for the first day of school. They've been going through a tremendous amount of training. We've been putting new safety and security measures in place uh, in anticipation of the, of the next year. Uh, we also have some major uh, technology projects going on that will help us uh, with uh, deploying our resources more quickly. And so there's a lot, a lot going on right now at Round Rock ISD. Touch a little bit about that technology and why it was important for you to introduce that as the police chief to the school district. Sure. So technology is a real force multiplier for us. So it gives us eyes and ears where we can't always be. And so by having that kind of those kinds of systems in place really helps us uh, understand what's happening on our campuses. We monitor all of our campuses all of the time, particularly when they're open. And so we can see, uh, you know, into each school what's happening, what's going on. If there are things developing, we can get ahead of that and it helps us respond with the right type of resources. And you also want to expand the police force here at Round Rock ISD as well, right? Yeah, I think over the next couple of years, you'll see us adding to our staff, um, particularly with a lot of the legislation that's going on now, it's moving us in that direction. So we haven't really figured out our, our, our entire plan, but we do know we need to start adding some staff going forward. And we're doing that as aggressively as we can. And you're also adding some cute little furry staff too, right? We are. So we have, we have a great therapy dog program. And uh, we have been adding to that over the last couple of years. The Pi Foundation, Partners in Education, has been really a huge part of that effort. Uh, they've been underwriting a lot of our uh, strategic efforts with therapy dogs. So right now we've got, uh, we've got three therapy dogs. We've got two uh, bloodhounds that are being trained for search and rescue because some of our uh, kiddos leave campus. Uh, some of our special ed kids tend to leave campus on occasion. And so we want to have a capability to find them quickly and bring them back to campus safely. Uh, so a lot of things that we're doing on the uh, peripheral that helps the entire campus safety uh, posture. Love to hear that, Chief. And you're going to have some of the therapy dogs on the first day of school welcoming Absolutely. the kiddos? Absolutely. They'll be yes. working hard th today for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for all you're doing for working hard and keeping the students safe here Thank at Round Rock so ISD. I Good to see you. you. Happy first day of school. Live over here in front of Deepwood Elementary School. We'll be back with more coverage.